Hi everyone, this is Shamin, Chief Digital Marketing Officer at Sky Digital Agency. And in today's video, I'll be talking about tracking of links with Bitly. And if you would like to create QR codes, I'll be covering that in this video as well. So you might be asking yourself, why should I be tracking my links? And if you're doing marketing, advertising, especially on social media and digital marketing platforms, you want to understand how your links are performing. Now, there is a limit in as to what they provide to you because on the free plan, uh, they're just basic links and information, uh, statistics that are given to you. But if you're wanting to find out more, uh, you need more information, feel free to consider their paid subscription. But today, I'm just going to cover it as a free uh, tool. So Bitly as a free tool, what does it do for you? There is this saying that what gets measured gets improved. So let's get started. Go over to bit.ly.com. So usually I just key in bit.ly. I think they managed to buy the .com recently. So I just key in bit.ly and it gets uh, redirected to bit.ly.com. So what you want to do is to sign up for free. Now they will ask or they will direct you to this page. So all you need to do is click on get started, $0 per month. All right. So when you click on get started, what they will ask you to do is to sign up. My suggestion is to sign up with Google. And that's what I have done. So I'm going to close this page because I've just logged into my own Bitly page. And I want to show you a few things. Number one is to how to create a link and why you should create a link uh, that is shortened. So many a times for us, for me, I have Google Docs, Google Slides that I would like to share with my participants or even a Google Drive uh, link. So if I head over to my Google Drive, what you will see is that the link is very long. Okay, so let's say I have a new course notes uh, to share and I go over to 2023 uh, course notes. And if you were to look at the link that I'm going to generate right now, Okay, uh, if you have done it before, they will actually prompt you that this link has already been created. All right, so let's say I like to create a short link for my 8 February course. So I'll right click get link. And if you take a look at the link, it's very long. Uh, that's number one. That's a good practice to shorten it. Okay, so I have already given access anyone. By default, it is restricted. So I have um, said that anyone with the link can view. All right. So if I copy this link here, okay, and I if I were to paste it, you see that this is how long the link is. Okay. So what I need to do is I head over to Bitly. All right. And I create a new link. And I paste it here. You can create 10,000 more links this month. Oh, I think they just increased this. It used to be 50 a month. Okay. And a good practice is to give it a title. So I'm going to say that this is my uh, social media graphic with Canva course notes. Okay, but because this is for Phuket Town uh, that I recently volunteered with, so I'm going to put Phuket Town as well because I have many different course notes. For me, I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm going to ask you or I'm going to share with you how I usually shorten my link. So I would make sense of the link. I would say social media Canva. Okay, if it has been taken, all right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, let's say I were to remove the back half. Okay, what you'll realize is they will say that this exact link already exists and cannot be duplicated. So what you want is to customize it in a way whereby when people look at it, they understand what this link is about. And if you want to create a QR code, what you need to do is just uh, slide this. And um, on the free plan, you can't change uh, the color, you can't change the logo. But if you're on the pro plan, you can change the color. So for example, like my corporate branding color has pink, I would like to key in the hexagon color code for pink. Or if I would like my uh, Sky Digital Agency or the Good Designers logo to be in the middle instead of Beatly logo, I can do that as well. So I'm pretty much done just by applying the link here. It can be a Google Drive link. Remember to update the access, Google Docs, uh, spreadsheet. I always give view access so that I'm the only one that can edit, but people can view it. People When they view it, means they can download it, all right? I also shorten things like my uh, Google Slides um, and may maybe even my course link. So sometimes even when we share our Skills Future course link, it's super long. So we actually shorten it so that it makes sense and people have a little bit more confidence to click on it. And because we have two courses, 
you don't want to uh, confuse people like what are this tooling it looks similar okay so i'm done i'm going to create it and once it is being created what you would see is that uh, the link is here okay the date of creation and the link is here i'll usually copy this paste it to test all right before using it it's always a good practice to test and see whether it works Okay, and if you can see the course notes, right, just take a look, make sure that there's no corruption of the file, everything looks good, okay, before sending it out. So always copy, don't type the URL on your own. Three biggest reasons of why you should shorten your links and especially so why you should use Bitly. Now, number one, Bitly is still free. You create a free account with your Gmail accounts. You can create 50 links a month. And the second benefit is that you can track your links. You get a little bit of insights. You understand how many people click, where is this traffic coming from? And this helps you at least have a little bit of insight under the free plan. If you're on the pro plan, they give you more insights than the basic plan. Now, the third reason is actually it helps you to look professional. Imagine you're in a conference, you're in a presentation and you show a link and people do not know what this link is about. And if that happens, it's going to make you look very unprofessional. So shorten your links, make it descriptive, make it short, help people to know what it is about. And it gives people the confidence to number one, click on the link and hopefully to scan your QR code. So that's the last benefit which Bitly allows you to do quite recently, I think in the last one to two years, they actually launched this new feature where after creating a link, it's optional for you to generate a QR code together with the link. And I use that a lot in my workshops and presentations because for surveys, for feedback, a resource, a Google Docs, a notes, a PowerPoint file, I will just shorten the link and I will also give them a QR code. Why do I shorten it? I paste the link into the Zoom chat or I paste and reflect the link there in case some do not have QR code facilities or the QR code just doesn't work for their mobile devices. So those are some benefits of QR codes and why you should use BE, why you should shorten your links. And if this video has been helpful, do remember to give it a like, a thumbs up. Do share this video with your friends. It will help us to create more videos like this. Remember to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.